Here is how to get the unlimited credits for Adobe Firefly. Hello, my friends, and how are you doing? Also, please join my live stream tonight where I'm going to test this out with you. You can make crazy suggestions in the chat and we're going to have a lot of fun. Let's get started. So some of you had questions in the comments. So I want to back you up here, give you the information. First of all, go to the Adobe website to the Firefly where you have the plants or just search it on Google Adobe Firefly plants. You see here the different plants. You can use the cheapest plan. You see here it is $9.99 US. And then if you buy it in Europe, it's a different price. It's about 12 euros. But if you have a VAT number, like you're a professional designer or something like that, you can put that on. It will reduce the VAT and then it's about the same, like nine something, right? So the most important part here really is when you click here on buy now, this will show you this page here, monthly, annual, and another annual where you pay it all in one go. Now, if you want to, you can go for that. But the unlimited credits are only until 1st December. After that, you have to pay for the credits and there might be cheaper options out there on the internet. So you have to decide for yourself. But if you only want to use it for the un unlimited credits right now, get the monthly one, especially because the other ones, as you can see here, fees apply if you cancel after November 13, which is really crazy that Adobe is having a canceling fee that can be quite expensive, especially if you have the annual one uh, where you pay the full price at one. So not great, but it's just how it is. And with the monthly one, there is no cancellation fee. You can cancel anytime. So that is pretty good. Now, here is how to use that. After you have paid that, you want to go over into Adobe Firefly. Now, on top here, you see multiple different things. You see Express, Photoshop, Lightroom, Acrobat, Fonts, and so on. The unlimited credits are only for Firefly right now. That is the important thing to understand. Now, when you have that, when you are on Firefly, here on the left side, you can see multiple things you can use inside of Firefly. And also down here, you have different suggestions of what you can do. One of that is edit an image, and I find that is a lot of fun to do. So here we are in the image editing. I've uploaded a photo of myself, and you can see here, I can select from different models. All of these are included in the unlimited image generation. So you can also use Nano Banana. You can use ChatGPT image, which is basically the Sora image generation, Flux Context Max, Flux Context Pro, and also the Firefly Image 5 Preview. You can do all of that. As you can see, a lot of fun can be had with Nano Banana. You can generate as much as you want. You can see down here it says uses zero credits. That again is only for now until 1st of December. So get that as soon as possible. As you can see, you can do some ridiculously cool stuff here with your image. And it actually looks like you because Nano Banana is really good, but also try out the other models. When it comes to video, it is a bit different. And I want to show you how to get the best quality. So you want to start by clicking here on the left on generate, which will bring you to this view here. Now here you have a little pop down menu where you can select from image or video, select video from that. In the next step, I want you to click here on more over here in that area. This will give you a way more detailed view of the different settings you have. Now at the moment when you're going to select video generation, it's going to suggest to you the VO 3.1 model, but this costs 400 credits per video generation. It is quite pricey. We don't want to have that. So you click here on the model selection and select Firefly video because that right now is free for as many generations as you want. So click on that. Below that you have the resolution. It is automatically set to 504p. But of course you want to have the best quality. So click on that and select 1080p to get the highest resolution. Then of course you can also select the ratio you want to have. This is important when you want to upload an image because if you have the wrong resolution, it's going to try and crop that image. In my case, I'm setting this to vertical 9 by 16. 
And then down here in the lower area, you can see I can load the first frame. You click on that. You can either select it from the Adobe Cloud Storage or from your device. So you can also upload an image you have generated on your own or on another service. After you've uploaded this image, put your prompt. And then down here on the right side, you see generate. Next to it, it says zero credits again. And also, if you want to, you can have here a function to enhance the prompt to get even a better result. I clicked on Enhance Prompt and this is what I'm getting as a result. Even though a little bit confusing here because it says a man in casual shirt and jeans pulls a fluffy white rabbit from a top hat. I'm not wearing a shirt and jeans, but let's see when we click on Generate what is going to do with that information. So after trying several times to get that video, I had to generate a start frame and an end frame individually and then render it. And the result is ah, kind of there, but yeah, you be the judge, but it is kind of, it's free. So give it as many tries as you want. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.